So you're suspecting diabetes in your patient and the numbers don't come back high enough to cross the threshold to diagnose diabetes, but they're still high. What do we do with those numbers? So if the fasting blood glucose comes back at 6.1 to 6.9, so it's not more than 7, the patient has a diagnosis of impaired fasting glucose. NICE recommend every patient with a diagnosis of impaired fasting glucose should be offered oral glucose tolerance test at two hours to rule out a diagnosis of diabetes. So if at the two hour mark the um, serum glucose level is more than 11.1 will diagnose diabetes. However, if it is between 7.8 to 11.1, it's not diabetes, but it's something we call something that is that the patients would understand better as pre-diabetes or it's known in the literature as impaired glucose tolerance. This situation puts you at a it doesn't it, it shows that you have some impaired glucose tolerance and it puts you at a much higher risk a lot of patients will then go on to develop diabetes world health organization recommend that um, instead of doing the serum glucose levels you do hba1c anything between 42 to 47 or 6.0 to 6.4 percent is also a diagnosis of prediabetes or impaired glucose tolerance